Mm. Hello, Team Absolution fans far and wide. It's been a long time, but let's cut out the pleasantries and let's give you guys a stern talking to. A lot of people have asked for us to come out here and talk to you guys about the world of Vanguard, which we still play, believe it or not. Do we do we play video games? Yes. Do we do other things on the channel? Absolutely, lately. But we still talk about Vanguard. Braxton still plays Vanguard. He still crits me to death every day. Um, not every day, just most days. Um, every day is and, most days. And of course, we know Braxton, the Express, Thompson. But you also know him by that meat guy on the world of the internets. Um, fighting game connoisseur, legendary beat em up guy. I don't know. I'm running out of titles for him. So <laughs> today we're going to talk to you guys about growing up <laughs> 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 and realizing that it ain't as bad as you think it is. And what am I mean by that, Braxton? Is today you you've been hard at work in Destiny Two. New seasons up. I know. So you haven't been listening. But people are mad. And so let's talk about what people are mad about, shall we? Why are they mad, Papa Jose? So they be mad because why wouldn't they be mad? You know? Can, can you see my screen or no? Perfect, actually. It was beautiful. All right. My machine's well, hold on. Stop share real quick. Let's bring it back up. There we go. All right. Now we're good. So these are the Bruce spoilers from today. All right. Right. Pretty devastating. You guys watching at home, you guys can take a look at this. I'm not going to read it verbatim just yet. Regina, good card. Absolutely. Uh, this one underneath here, uh, Cyril, I actually don't know if that's good or not in terms of the deck. I don't think it is, actually. However, everybody in their family is incredibly upset about pandemonium tactics. All right. The internet is set up, well, not all of them, but a lot of people, the loud majority, it seems. Um. So really quick, we'll go through it. Counter Blast 1, play this card. It's an order. Soul, soul Charge 4. Then if you're in Final Rush, activate all the following effects based on the car, the number of cards in your soul. Six or more, you draw one. Eight or more, front row units gets plus 10k. Twelve or more, choose your Vanguard, and it gets critical until the end of turn. It's not a bad card. It's a great card. Fantastic card. I think even Braxton agrees with me here. Yeah. Card good. Bruce is a great deck, and this will make Bruce a greater deck. Is this a card you quit the game over? No. <laughs> you want to you want to list the cards you quit the game over? Chaos Breaker Dragon. You want cards you quit the game over? Phantom Blaster Diablo. You want cards you quit the game over? That Zara TikTok Dragon. Worker. That TikTok <laughs> worker. You want cards you quit the game over? The Zara Dragon that could kill you before it was errata. Those are cards you quit the game over. Um, Braxton, listen, listen. You said TikTok worker. Yeah, I, I, I hated that card. I hated that that I hated the, the concept of time leap as a deck. It was so obnoxious. I knew people who wanted to quit because of Brave at the end. Yeah, I think I was one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> like. There are a ton of cards to quit over the game. And the thing is, Braxton, these group of people are, are, are broken into two subgroups. You have the people who are making the argument we just made that this card is too broken. So I want to address you guys first, that this makes the deck too broken. In terms of tier one decks, this is the most balanced tier one deck. I had someone, I saw a comment that someone said like, Oh, so you only get four turns to play the game. I've seen decks that give you less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still got to get to final rush. You can lose two games like this. You still got to draw into this order. There's no way for you to search it. At least I know of. Yeah, Bruce has a decent enough draw. But yeah, it, I mean, just like Helldive, you got to draw into it either way. You got to draw into it. So you still, I mean... OTT and V was a more tier one deck than this was. This deck has weaknesses. This deck can be exploited. This deck has a bad day, you lose. OTT is a bad day, a scratch, you still win. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
It's like, oh, I'm having a bad day. Oh, well, I guess I'll just put all these crits on top anyway. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, man, I can't check anything. If only I could fix that. <laughs> Let's go back even further, okay? G era. Tier 1 decks. Thing Saver. In the beginning, right from the go. Dot X. From the beginning, right from the jump. Lamb. Even... <laughs> even suki now that was a triangle meta so you can say oh it was a triangle meta it was more balanced okay we'll go forward set two ripples ripples was stupid set three i don't remember because set three is kind of vague set four next stage next stage starts to get good then you got pbd diablo oh yeah the legend deck the yeah. legend deck what which, a great time <laughs> wish we made a rant video purely based on that look and if you dig into the archives and find yourself that video you will find one great point we made one of probably few there's a thing where when people the problem with nations not a problem with nations it's just a reality some cards are going to be good bruce only gets like four cards they have to be good right if they're all bad people are gonna be like bruce is getting the shaft so my point is, Bruce in the land of tier one decks, eh, it's not, not that impressed. <laughs> so it's not the worst defender by any stretch of the imagination. So like get some context in what you're arguing about. Now, caveat, Braxton, we, you and I have been playing the game for how long? A long time. Very long. Since oh, oh, I met you original set nine. So that's Clash original of Knights and nine. Dragons. <laughs> Two reboots ago. Two reboots ago. So, if you're a new player and you're playing over just for the first time and this is what makes you not want to play, I respect that, okay? I get it. Maybe this isn't your game. I can fully understand that, so on and so forth. But if you've been through the ropes, like I said, if this is the straw that breaks the camel's back, your back was already broken. (laughs) Your back was broken. You should have got into this to begin with, which leads me to the second point. Some people argue, well, it's not the power of the deck that frustrates me. It's that Bushiroad doesn't, it, they're just power creeping again. We're on our road to another reboot. I don't, Brax, this is the, these cards are much more balanced in the overall sense than original Vanguard was. Let's talk about let's talk about the end. <laughs> let's talk about MLB. Let's talk about Suki. Those things were <laughs> power unbound. Power unbound. Absolutely. We can take it even further. B series had an incredible power creep ramp. Yeah. Luard, MLB. That was also a, a, a legend deck of sorts. Uh, uh spikes. The cross spikes. <laughs> there were the thing is. You, you have to. Do, this company hasn't changed as an overall, but they've gotten. And look, this is us talking. We do not think Bush Road is on our top ten of good companies to play card games for with. List, all right. They had. They are some offenders when it comes to a lot of things. Power creep being one of them. But I'm sorry, they have gotten better. Yeah, this game wouldn't be around for 10 years if they hadn't. They've gotten better. V had some serious mistakes. They had to reboot it. They apologized. I get that. New reboot, cheaper value, and the cards, the reason you're frustrated that Bruce is so good is because he's good relative to the others. But looking at the deck just itself, it's incredibly synergetic, yes. But is it broken? No. No. It's not. So those are those are your two guys. Braxton, I want to hand it off for you for a second, man. Where do you land here, man? What are your thoughts on these people just getting up and saying, this is it, I'm done? I, I don't know, man. It's just... What, what, what can you say that has been said? Like, I look at... I look at Pandemonium Tactics, and I'm just like, I'm not saying it's not a good card. I'm just like, would you play this over? Would you play this over Helldive? Would you? Like, I, 
And if you do, you're not playing them both together, are you? I mean, like, where do you even make room for that? So it's either one or the other. And you have a card that may or may not be as good as what's already being played. So, like, like you have Helldive and Helldive one and a half. Like, is you're going to get upset about that? I don't, I don't know. I'll say I agree. I'm kind of more upset at the grade one because that just lets you two box your soul. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the grade one either. I mean, the grade one's actually pretty good. It means a double R. It's got to be better, right? But no, everyone's right. super mad about Pandemonium Tactics. They're mad about Bruce getting support. Like, they didn't see Shadows get the best cards in the game time and time again. Yeah. Like, like they didn't see uh, Kagero get better cards than everyone else time and time again. They live like they didn't see Bermuda, Dra- Bermuda Triangle dominate the summers time and time again. I'll say Lyrical might be doing that soon too. Who knows? It's True. only been one. It's only been one weekend. But we're, we're literally just in the beginnings of these set releases, and it's already over. Supposedly, the dream is dead. But after Bruce, we're gonna cover some two other two other things really quickly. So right. to keep 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 on keeping on. I'm not gonna go over all these cards, but let's first talk about Star Raiders. Okay. So, and this is so interesting about the community that cracks me up to this day is that you have people on both sides of the table. Man. You have the people who are like, "I need balance," and then you have the people, "Why isn't my card broken?" And these two forces are actually mutually, you can only have one or the other. You can't have, you can't on one hand want your clan to be stupid. And on the other hand, be mad that Bruce is too stupid. So I actually don't play Link Joker. So this is all, well, not anymore. This is all Braxton. He's actually been playing it in V. What are your general thoughts? Colony Maker is the main offender. Some people say it got nerfed. I argue that it is still a great card. It is just more balanced than CB1, search anything you want in your deck. Yeah, sir. well, search any grade one, right? So, grade one, yeah. Like, this Colony Maker, yeah, sure, it's not a search, but, like, it lets me call any Star Fader I check in my top five. So, could be a Craven Claw, could be a Palladium, could get, literally the key cards I want to look for. Like, like if, I can, if I check the top five and grab Zirconium, that's another lock card, essentially. And the fact that this doesn't cost a, a CB is really nice and flexible. Um, if anything, I'd be more upset that Palladium doesn't go into soul. It retires itself. All yeah. Right. Palladium, Palladium not being able to do that, but I mean, they weren't going to let that happen again. They weren't going to let that happen again. <laughs> and in, Infinite Zero is actually good again. Like, it's a good card. It really is. It's it's aggressive. It's Look, I love what they're doing with V right now, especially given that, look, I'll, I'll hot take, I hated V. Like, from the bottom of my soul, I had no... It took all the fun I had and took away my fun. I did not like V in the slightest. But this actually makes me excited for V again. Or, yeah, like, or at all. Since, like, set one. This is the most mm-hmm. excited I've been for V, is some of the support these these units are getting. And, and like, all of it, like, seems really, like, a balance as opposed to, like, the end of V when it was just, like, uh, Luard, Luard, Luard. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And like, what it was Lord, Gurgoid, and uh, oh, oh, um, Gavrail. There we go. Gavrail, yep. These cards seem a lot more balanced and interesting to play. And then we come to your other boys, Braxton, which is why I'm glad I got you here. We got the Revengers. Now, the problem here is people say Raging Form isn't good. And look, it's not set 12 Raging Form, if that's what they were looking for. It here's here's the I don't know why Bushi does it either, but it's like for some reason whenever there's like uh top deck already in a clan, so like in Shadow's case, it's Luard, right? Luard's still really good even to this day, right? So like when so when they go to support Shadows again, like they're not going to print out like they're not going to make uh, Raging for Luard 2.0 as far as like card strength, right? Yeah, that'd be dumb, especially when this new this new company is trying to protect, save. They're trying to save V, not destroy it. So, by by saving V, they 
they gotta they gotta address Luard in a different. They gotta get rid of it, but they can't. And they're not gonna try to get rid of it by overstopping it because then that's that's more power creep, which is what the, the community doesn't want. But at the same time, people are like herd and her, like this isn't good enough. I want broken. No. And if you do want broken, just say that, but then don't get mad when you're like, Bruce, the loose. The Bruce is loose. <laughs> so the rest of these cards, I'm not quite sure, but this is the one that usually gets it. I actually think the card's pretty good. Like I said, it's not set 12, but we have to let go that we're going to see cards totally like that again. Because we, we, <laughs> we, we, we hope that. We don't. We hope. Because we don't need that. And people argue like, yeah, but Bruce is that. Bruce as a deck is like that. There is, and that's something I've been very appreciative in, in, in Overdress, is that there is no one card except the closest offender you could argue is Bastion. Lenard or Bastion. Guess Bastion those literally two. turns his whole deck on. <laughs> Lenard and Bastion are some of the are two cards that you point to that you say, like, the deck hinges on these cards. And they're, they're too, they are, quote, unquote, too good. But let me tell you something. If this was the original team, Bastion would not have been once per turn. <laughs> if yeah. this had been the original team, you would not have had to wait for, for final to, rush. For final rush. <laughs> and then we and then we would really be in hell. <laughs> so the general thing is you gotta look at these. We always say you cannot look at cards in a vacuum. You can't look at metas in a vacuum. You can't look at reboots in a vacuum. You got to look at them in a context, man. Like, with the exclusion of those two cards, the decks decks are synergetic, which is what you want in a card game. You don't want decks to hinge on a card. At least not anymore. Bushwood's been trying to go away from that. They want you to hint. They want them to work together. Barrel Magus works together. Brant works together. I'm talking uh, Orphist and Snow work together. Bastion, that one works on Bastion. That one I'll give you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true too. But at some point, Bastion alone will not be able to carry the deck. That's why, and, and this is already starting to be indicated. This is completely off topic here, but it's starting to be indicated by the sheer fact that Bastion's deck did not change from set one and set two, which means it didn't get any better. There were some lateral movements, I think, by changing the orders. And changing the fronts, but the deck, if it got better, it got better by like this much. Like eventually other cards are gonna get better support. And they're just gonna overcome Bastion because there's only so much you can do with a card they don't intend to build off of. They're not gonna make another Bastion yet. They even said it themselves. So they and how many more grade threes can I can I add before I'm just standing up more grade threes? See what I'm saying? So that's that. And last but not least, to bring it to good news is meteors, man. This is some cool design space. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to play this deck. I'm not going to lie. This is dope. Me too. I was like, yo, meteors. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is an incredibly cool mechanic that, once again, we would not have seen in other Vanguard series. This is not something that would have been introduced. And it's interesting, and it seems like it could very well be good. Get your PGs now. That's 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 my hint. So, uh, go ahead. Nah, just like this just looks so cool, man. <laughs> no, it looks. I'm an alien, and I'm gonna hit you with meteors. Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a good time. So you got to ask oh, yourself, go ahead. There's one thing I do want to add, though, just to the whole overarching thing. Like, the, the rest of the set hasn't even, be, hasn't even been spoiled yet. We still have, like, every other nation to go. Uh, and we do know for a fact Eugene's never going to be good, Jose. I'm sorry. Like, they could put as much support as they want to in that deck unless they make it overlorded. No. <laughs> Eugene's never going to be good. I'm sorry. The dream's dead. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but Ver 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 Verana has a chance, though. Verana has a chance. Rana has a chance. It's working its way there, right? Yeah. And, and here's the thing. And it's funny because, once again, people get mad about other things, right? But you get mad about the super power creep deck. But in a game where an overtrigger can literally swing the entire game the other way, 
it all kind of works out of the watch. I saw a Bastion player go literally 0 for 4. And I'm sorry, a Bruce player go 0 for 4 in the tournament. Now, tournaments aren't that small these days. The tournaments are 29, 30 people. Yeah, our locals is popping. Our locals is popping. And Bruce was not loose for that man. It wasn't. Bruce, I played. Also, I, I also played in the Bruce that night. I know you played in the Bruce that night too. Yeah, the thing is, Bruce is also a pretty skill. It's a skill intermediate. You can't go burr burr. I'm a final rush. Yeah, you, know, you, know <laughs> you can't go burr burr. <laughs> um, it's not Bastion. Bastion, you can go burr burr grade threes and win a game. So. Where's the frust? Where's the heat on Bastion? It's because Bastion doesn't get any support because the deck hinges on Bastion. As long as grade threes exist and they can restand, the deck will be good. Yeah. So basically what I'm saying is, guys, calm down, man. We've been through this before. We'll go through it again. But the thing is, it gets a, it's honestly gotten a lot better in this sense. If we're arguing about pandemonium tactics, tactics as the most broken card in Vanguard currently, we're in an okay place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this where we're at right now? Oh, all right. Dope. <laughs> because pandemonium tactics is a win more card. Yeah. It is a win more card. You're not winning with pandemonium tactics. You've probably already won by the time you're at pandemonium tactics. Because like you said, Helldive is still a really good card. Yeah. You, in any situation where I think you're winning with Pandemonium Tactics, you probably won probably, with Helldive. You're probably winning with Helldive. But that is where I'm going to leave you today with a couple, a couple last notes here. Tonight, in an hour from when this video goes live, probably less, I will be live on Twitch playing Zero. If you want to come yell at me about what, what you saw here, what you saw in the comments, you want to drop a comment on the YouTube video, or you want to come check us out on Twitch, that's twitch.tv slash Captain Absolution. One day Braxton will be on Twitch as well, and then I'll give him a shout out as well. But today he is not one live on Twitch. One and day. you said Monday? I said one day. Oh, I was hoping Monday. <laughs> one day soon. Keep, 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 your ears, keep your ears out. Keep the faith. So <laughs> Twitch TV slash Captain Absolution. You'll see me there playing Zero, playing Mega Flare. It'll be a grand old time, Br bringing back the old days of Legion. Um, come tell me what you thought about this video. Come tell me if you want more videos. And aside from that, Braxton, send us out here, man. Tell them goodbye. Bye, everyone. It's going to be okay. Set's still not spoiled yet. We still have 100 more cards to go. We'll be okay. It's going to be